How's it going, guys? Welcome to the Blue Shifting, and welcome to the opening of Steins Gate. Assuming we can do it, but for whether we do it or not, I feel in my bones that this is the last episode. I highly doubt I'm going to want to, nor find a good place to stop between now and whatever the ending is. I have no idea how long this is going to be. We have uh, tested through uh, my other series that we have a three hour limit. <laughs> I will literally run out of face cam footage at that rate. Uh, so, let's see what we can do. But, this is probably it. I really do believe this is it. And you all seem to agree, so <laughs> we're gonna go. We're gonna do this. Um, although, it won't quite be the end for this series. There's a couple things I wanna talk about. I wanna talk about a. a um, I also wanna mention a comment that kind of summarizes. Like, there were a few of you that kind of overlapped, and once again, I just kind of picked one I felt mediated a lot of the ideas that I really wanna talk about. And then finally, we will dive right in. So, first off, what's with the. What, what can we expect for the future of Steins Gate for now? Well, naturally, it's going to be ending soon. I don't think I'm going to jump right into something new next week. I believe I want to have two things happen before we do that, or at least scheduled. But you'll, t you'll see what I mean in a second. First off, I want to do a summary review. Uh, after I finish this, this ending, I want to hit at least the major endings with the various characters. I'll probably try and find a few of the other endings as well, but majority... I, I'm pretty sure that's almost all of them already. Uh, there might be a couple bad endings I can get to. I have not, I just I missed. So I'll, I'll try and see what those are about too, but uh, I, I want to talk, and I especially want to talk about some of the scenes that were really, really impactful to me that I couldn't show on my show, and that I don't want to show on my show, because despite the fact that it'd be really cool to catch my uh, reaction to them, the whole idea once again is to not show everything this game has to offer for anybody who happens to have not played it yet. Um, if you're here and you haven't played it yet, I'm disappointed, but, you know, I can't control your actions, so whatever. <laughs> but, um, so, what are we going to see next week? Well, next week I want to do a review. Like, a full-on review. And I want to start doing this with my other series, too. Uh, I think that they deserve it. I might even do some retro reviews of the games in the past. It's just something I started thinking about when I knew that Science Gate was going to have to end someday, and that Mubble was going to have to end someday. I've grown a lot about as a channel. Um, and I want to seek ways to improve myself. And I think that's one of the things I want to do, is I want to do what I'm going to call a capstone. It's going to be kind of like the conclusion of a series. Uh, and I want to break it up. I, I was a little bit inspired by Boogie2998, and that's it. I think those are the numbers. <laughs> but, uh, I like how when he does his reviews, he does like, well, he does like first half spoiler free, second half not so spoiler free. I don't know if I'll break it up quite like that, but I'll definitely have like links to like, and I give fair warning where like the entrance is just gonna be like, hey, if, you, if you're curious about this as a game and wanna know if you wanna play it, like I keep it spoiler free and talk about like the bullet points and like the things I loved about the game the most. I bet you it'll be like five minutes because it'll be a very quick summary. And then I'll have a hard stop and then we'll talk full, full spoilers. I'll just kind of give some of my basic impressions. I still wanna keep myself succinct and wanna talk about the strengths and weaknesses of the visual novel and then ultimately I don't like doing number scales per se, but like whether or not I would recommend playing it, kind of an idea. Uh, this is going to be something that's going to be changing through time, I'm sure, but it's something I do want to start doing, especially because it's something that someone can access before deciding to watch my series to decide whether or not this is something they want to pursue. And I feel like that'll be um, a good thing for just in general for more people who want to experience visual novels and hopefully are inspired to do so based on my words, if nothing else. <laughs> like, if there was nothing else out there that could catch their attention before, hopefully I can help kind of bridge that gap one last time. But anyway, I got like tassels everywhere. I guess cold, so I'm wearing my sweater. Um, well, not cold, cold, but anyway. Second thing I want to do. Um, someone suggested a little while ago, and kudos to you for doing so, I, I hopefully I'll highlight you when I actually do this, but um, you mentioned wanting to do something a bit more, like, uh, community oriented, and I agree. Uh, I've also had to do a lot of deep thinking lately about the future of the channel. The potential of someday, hopefully, being able to do more with this channel than I ever thought possible when I started. Things like outreaching to visual novel um, creators, being able to do things like personal interviews with the people who who wrote this series, or maybe some of the voice actors who participated in these like benchmark series, or in the newer projects that are coming forward. 
uh, both in the Western and Eastern um, uh, companies. And hopefully, hopefully it's like helping to pursue a continuation of visual and kinetic novels, um, especially high quality ones. I don't know. Could that somebody be a thing? I, do, I really don't know. <laughs> I need to really see some like measured success on the platform and that's something that's why I need to talk about it more. That's why like things like Patreon of someday being a thing, very likely, I just don't think YouTube is going to be stable enough for me to actually, if I ever want to pursue this in a full time and in a full like truly expansive way where like I'd likely need to be able to do a lot of traveling. Um, but could you imagine us being able to do things like, like going and visiting and just and talking with like the voice actor Vokabe and having him do hit, like recreate the laugh if, if he can, being able to do like a vlog journey and trying to find the parallel places from Steins Gate in the real world. I stumbled upon a guide for that recently, and uh, I was blown away that like like it, because just like in in, uh, in a lot of anime, a lot of the times they out they source their places like these are based in real locations they may not have they may have different names and they may have you know twisted the purposes of such but i can visit a lot of these places physically and it'd be really fun because you guys have mentioned doing that before but what if i got to do that with you like i got to take a like a camera and we got to like go through the highlight and i could kind of do like a side-by-side -side comparison i could try and find the, the angles where they like like where you could imagine the camera being it'd be so fun but that's the kind of thing I can't do on my own Steam. That's something that would be the highlight and marking of channel that was had grown to a much greater success than it has now. But these are things I have to think about because I would love to make it happen. And if you don't set your goals, you never can progress that far. Or at least you can't progress that far efficiently. So that's kind of what I want to move for. And so that kind of leads into the second topic of like setting up a Discord. That's something I can do now. That's something I can do for free, and that's something I want to do with you guys. But I need you to keep in mind, and I'll have to say this again in the future, there's a good chance that while initially I'm going to be setting up this Discord stuff for free, if we do want to see these expansions and want to be able to eventually have these set these goals to be able to do some pretty remarkable stuff, there may need to be some add additions to Patreon. And part of a, a part of a successful Patreon campaign involves setting goals and kind of having a little bit of gated uh, community access, which is something that only really can happen on a large channel. So, is this going to happen anytime soon? I highly doubt it. <laughs> is it going to happen at all? Probably not. But I want you to be mentally prepared because I want to set up a Discord and I want to start doing some community events with you guys, like directly with you. And I think it'd be really fun. And the downside is that I don't want to eventually seem like the bad guy if I end up having to put some Patreon gates or whatever, you know, some type of funding gates for some of the content that I want to help work with, develop with you guys. But, you know, you see in a lot of other bigger channels and I have to be realistic if I want to be able to say like, hey, let's set the goals to send me to Japan to be able to do make some of these videos and to like do these fun things. Like, I think we'd have to work together on it. I'd have to save a lot of money on my own. <laughs> I'm already planning on doing trips to Japan, so it's very likely that I'll someday make some kind of content like this. But it'd be really amazing if we could really, if we could make, if we could accelerate those timetables. If I someday was able to feel comfortable enough to do it without having to make this massive plan to have it happen. But you know what? I don't know. I'm rambling a lot about this. I just kind of want you to understand where my head is right now when it comes to like my ultimate dreams for this channel. Because hitting a thousand subscribers really kind of put it in perspective that what I'm doing is working and that, that we might have something really amazing here. Not like beyond what other people could do per, per se, you know, there's plenty of vloggers in Japan, there's plenty of visual novel people who are on YouTube, but you never, you never can reach for something too far away. There's never like a point where you can't set goals like if you don't set goals you can lose your way and you can cripple your own ambition or you even just like you you can cripple your own limitations if you if you're not if you unless you're willing to push a little and that's what I want to do and I know exactly what I would do if I had the funds to do it there'd be so much other content I'd love to make for this channel stuff that could be 
not just my own, like my own pure content, but something that we could share together. I would love to get more involved with the people who make visual novels. I'd love to be able to help like, uphold their uh, their their processes. I would love to like highlight the people who don't always get the spotlight that I don't even know much about. Like I said, like the voice actors. I don't know who does any of the voices of these characters, but they do such a good job. I'd love to go meet them. I'd love to talk to them. I'd love to even like get an email from them. It's like, there's just so much more we could potentially do someday, and I don't want to say that it was like, oh, it just Nedge just randomly occurred to me. It's like, no, this is something I can plan for, and hope for, and dream about, because I've got to, I've got to set my sights somewhere, and I've got to have a, like, not a, not a reason to make good content, but a reason to make better content than ever. So, anyway, next week I want to have set up a Discord channel. That we're going, but like, cause that's why this is all going up. Like, I don't want you to get discouraged down the line if things change a little bit. But for now, and probably for the rest of time, because <laughs> let's be honest, these dreams I'm having are pretty freaking big, and I really don't think they'll happen. Um, but what we can do is we'll definitely have a Discord, and I even wanted to um, some sporadic um, visual novel themed podcasts. If they, if they become a hit, and if we start getting, like, if they catch a lot of attention, and we could try and do them weekly, I just don't know if I currently have enough I can talk about per week. I'm sure you guys do. Remember, I'm taking you on my whole journey through visual novels. I watched a few playthroughs of visual novels and learned, like, I loved them so much. And so I started this channel with literally playing, like, Sound of Drop on the Poison, the first visual novel I ever purchased. So... That's why like the, the reaction is so great. So like having you guys be a part of it, we're gonna have to be careful about things. We need to avoid spoilers and maybe just make very vague references to other series. But I'd love for us to start it off start it off with a Steins Gate podcast of some kind. Let's grab a few of you who are gonna be free at the right time, and together we can just do a live stream where we just can talk about it. And I can bring up some bullet points to talk of and, and keep us going and engaged and just have like, I don't know, maybe an hour long podcast of just talking about Steins Gate. Heck, we could probably go longer than an hour if we wanted to. Uh, and then maybe it's going to be our tradition that whenever I finish a series, um, at least a series that has a lot of engagement, it'd be really fun to do a good little podcast. And heck, then you have to be a lot of engagement. If there's just one of you who really enjoys a certain like visual novel that we cover, and you want to just talk about it, I'm sure we could make a podcast work for that. So keep that in mind. I'd love to know. Like, uh, First off, do you have any support for this idea? Um, and I guarantee you, at the currently, like, it'll have to be a Saturday night. Like When I'm doing my normal live streams, that's kind of when this will be slotted for time. So bear that in mind if you want to participate. Um, we'll eventually, probably in the next few weeks, pick a solid date and we're going to make it happen with anyone who shows up. Even if it's just me talking for an hour. Like. We're gonna do it, but anyway, so look for Discord details in the review next week. So, oh my gosh, channel maintenance and talking dreams. I hope you guys don't mind. Some people can get weirded out for people, like especially, like I feel like it's kind of weird even mentioning something like Patreon, because it's effectively me saying someday I'm going to be asking for money. But it's one of those things where there are people who get to do really cool things with Patreon. There are people who get GoFundMes that are successful, that are inherently, you could sometimes claim are selfish. But the idea, the difference being, especially with Patreon, I love the, the appeal of Patreon is the idea that you're supporting me in what I'm doing. Like, the, I'm bringing something to the table that no one else seems to be able to, that you want to support. And I think that's one of the most honest things because it, it echoes to the patron system of the ancient arts when pretty much all artists had to um, lean to the beck and call of nobles who had enough disposable income to actually support them so they could actually do their craft. That's kind of the idea here. Is I'm not expecting and nor do I anticipate actually having this work out but the reality is that if I really wanted to be able to pursue like the ultimate like mega dreams like the, the, the S-rank dreams that this channel could someday achieve at some point, possibly, I would need to be in a place like that. And so ac accepting the reality that that could be something in the future is the first step towards understanding when it will be best to do so. Obviously, a thousand subscribers is not that time, but I need to let you guys know now because it, it's on my mind now as an actual serious thought. For the first time in my entire career of YouTube, 
this is the first time I've ever thought that someday this could happen. And so I'm going to be honest with you about it. And if you have any questions about it, please let me know. And even if you're concerned, or if you think it's trashy or, or scummy of me to even be talking about this, yeah, don't. Send me, put a comment in the, in, the, in the comments below, or send me an email. If you want to make it more one-on-one -on -one and you really are just like concerned about things I'm saying, like just message me. Trust me, I don't have a ton of spam quite yet. I'm going to regret those words someday, but I can literally, I would have time to look at an email for you. It might not come like right away. I've got a lot, a lot of stuff going on in life, but I will sit down. And I will reply if you have, gen especially if you have genuine concerns about this, because I really want to hear your guys' thoughts on it. So I appreciate it, and I appreciate you listening to this rant. So I think I might also be trying to delay because I know it's coming. Oh my gosh, that was a long, long thing. All right, let's get right to it. So opening the Steins Gate. It's our only chance. We only had two tries of going to Suzaha unless she was lying, which is something I definitely consider being a, a reality. Suzaha has already kind of had to twist our hand a little bit, but we at least have a shot, right? Future us has got our backs. And so if we can trust in ourselves and believe, we might be able to make this happen. <sighs> All right, let's do this. Mary and Dario looked dumbfounded. They obviously didn't understand a single word. Oh yeah. I, however... <laughs> it's freaking insane, but yes. Laughter bubbles from the depths of my soul. Not minutes ago, I was lost in despair. I was ready to kill myself for what I had done. And now, I'm laughing because we're in, we've lost our minds. That's okay. I think right now we need the mad scientist for real. <laughs> Operation Scald. <laughs> El Sai Kangaroo. Sanju, Sansai, you won't be. No, you're a bucket of what I did in the world. No, of course not. You're freaking. You're Okabe. Of course you don't. Saisho no reo damasetoka. Seikai yo damasetoka. Deceive myself, deceive the world. Okay, so I mentioned it was like save the cheerleader, save the world. I wonder if that was a legitimate like comparison. Like what? Like this? I thought this came out before. Yeah, because I thought Heroes came out like in 2005 and six or something. So like I don't know. I wonder what if they were inspired by Steins Gate. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, but it might work. It's pathetic, laughable, a juvenile fant fantasy. But at the same time, it feels right. Alright. 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 Oh, baby, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Oh, there he goes. Come on, man. I don't know if he's been in a long time. He's had to retreat to his second self in order to keep his sanity. Kind of. マヨシーはこっちのオカリンの方が好きだよ。ああ。ま、そうだけどさ、オカリンが変人じゃなきゃ僕も調子出ねえし。Yes. <laughs> Aww, please make it so. I I was the best last week. It wasn't fun. Somehow we need to convince them that she dies, or at least that someone died without her dying. How are we gonna do that? Oh my tachi. So no cotum wakarana no ka? Cactus takakua. Chimamire de taurete, Maki se Christo. 
それを目撃した俺だけそれ以上でもそれ以下でもないあクリスが血まみれで倒れていたのを見ただけそのクリスが生きていたのか死んでいたのかについて He's talking about his past self, though, right? Like, are we going to be. Because here's the question are we going to be overlapping the, the last time we were back there when we did changes? Are we somehow going to, like, delete those by going there first? Like, maybe a little earlier? I don't know. Okay. Isn't that right, future me? Yeah, this is definitely convoluted. And it's tiptoeing on the precipice of possibility based on the rules that the game has established but it is possible right it's not like we haven't done crazier than this before negative tilts her head she still doesn't get it okay chris If we make it so. Miyuri's eyes open wide in wonder. I give up. She's not going to understand. Don't say it. Interesting. So, so long? Huh. Really? And that's because I'm not the Okabe Rintaro who lived on the beta world line after Kurisu died. And here's the other thing, too, that's interesting. We're a different Okabe. And if you could argue, we kept thinking, like, you could try and argue that Kurisu's death is like a fate determined by causality and it's part of, like, the, the chain of events. However, It's very possible that she died simply as a butterfly causality effect, as in because one thing happened, she died. But like that causality might be, be might be able to be overridden if we can hit the divergence point properly. And we happen to know that the most likely hinge point of the entire thing is truly the metal upa. Because, <laughs> you know, why not have the world hang in the balance of a metal upa? Oh, man. I traveled to the Apple World line and back. I'm not bound by whatever effects Kirishu's death might have had during that time. Interesting. We probably don't even have to destroy it. Like I said, we probably just need to retreat the Upa. There's <laughs> no idea what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It all has to do with you working in a shop. <laughs> I I, di I disregard the blank stares of my comrades and brush my back my hair with a flourish. She's like, oh yeah. Oh, there go my headphones up. I got a little too into it. I know. I have to admit, I'm really kind of getting into the Chunibyo attitude because I've been playing Persona 5 too, which is like the personification of any Chunibyo's dream. <laughs> like, if that were real. Man. You know what? Uh, Yoda and Kyoma mode used to annoy me, and now it makes me so excited. <laughs> Please, come on, man, we got it. We can do this. Okay. Suzuha tightens her expression and nods firmly. <sighs> come on, come on, we can do it. Oh, he's. Oh, yeah, we did have a change of clothes, that's right. I squat against the roof's chain fence with my eyes closed. To refresh my memory, I pull out the draw the pull out the drawers of my mental archive and sort through each file one by one. Oh, he has a mind palace of his own. Ooh. My actions that day, Miyuri's actions, the conversation with Kirisu, Nakabachi's Nakabachi, 
I said the name right this time. Oh, I just forgot. I totally forgot. I'm going to read the comment real quick. Okay, we're going to take a quick break. We're going to read the comment. Dang it. I hate, like, I'm so convoluted today. I'm going to need to write down the time, too, because this is freaking way, way off script now. All right, so I'm going to write down the time on the recording because I need to be able to find this point again. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, so Mega Zero X7, thank you for your patience. You said, something that I need to point out is that the entire thing with the Alpha World line leading to the World War III is actually easy to predict if you're familiar with our world's job, Tidor. Tidor came on the forums and was traveling back to get the IBM 5200 to prevent the Y2K bug, which would cause a disaster. Tidor mentioned this at the time with, with, that the future World War III would happen. So yeah, like that's really cool because remember, that's kind of based on real events that they kind of pulled this idea from. And another thing to think about is uh, that... You also could argue that that might even be like that we exist on an alternate timeline as well. Like there's alpha, beta, maybe we're the delta timeline, you know? It's just kind of one of those really fun mind thoughts. And so I thank you for the reminder of that. It's really true um, like that these are based on real events in part. You know, like the inspiration form came from a real place and we shouldn't forget that. Uh, the next thing you say is also Dr. Nakabachi is named Nakabachi, not Nakabaki. You're pronouncing it wrong. I have an explanation for that. Um, in the series I play on Fridays, which is my Seabed series, which is actually really good. Um, it's definitely smaller, but it's very, very, like, if you want something convoluted and just, like, many layered with both the characterizations and just the way it plays out, I highly recommend you check it out. It really is more, it's, it turned out to be so much more than I thought it was going to be. And so, like, if you liked this kind of stuff, you, you probably would enjoy Seabed. Uh, but in there, one of the main characters is Dr. Nakabaki. Now, not, not Narabaki, Na, Narasaki. Na, Dr. Narasaki. And then we had Dr. Nakabachi. But they were fusing in my mind because they are they are similar enough. Like, maybe not if you, like, under, if, you, if you understand Japanese, like, from, like, a language point of view. But from the English phonetic sounding parts of my brain, I kind of started merging the two. So I'm very sorry about that. As a you, you witnessed as I said that. So that's why it happened. But I'll do my best to read it properly. Nakabachi. Nakabachi. And then finally he said, on the next video, I can finally post a description of where Science Gate Zero takes place. Thank you. And sadly, I do have to make a quick announcement about that. Some of you point out that apparently Echo 6 was forced to take down or stop doing his playthrough of Science Gate Zero. So... Chances that we'll be able to do it, not so great. Like I said, I'm going to wait for the heat to die down a bit. The anime's just concluded, as you probably know. Then the game's been out for a while now. Maybe in a few months, they'll be a little more open to it. And like I said, I've tried contacting them twi <laughs> twice to, to, to ask permission, never heard anything back. I'll probably try and send them another communication one more time just to try and really make sure they, that they can at least respond to me without having to take down videos. But... I still want to try. I, I really want to try. And I feel like like even Japanese countries allow them to loosen their grip after a while. Um, like I know Persona 5, like I, don't, I really don't think I have room for it on my channel just because A, I don't have a good setup for a PlayStation stream and B, what, it, there's a lot of other reasons. But uh, the Persona 5, they, they had their death grip on it for a while, but I think they've loosened it since then. So, you know, it, it could be something we do in the future, but we'll have to see. Anyway, so thank you so much for your comment. Sorry it took so long to get to it. Uh, I want to get to it before I got too far into this, uh, but I appreciate it, and I think you hit a lot of the points really clearly, so thank you for that. All right, some actions on that day, and Nakabachi's presentation. With those memories to guide me, I begin to draw a plan of how to complete my mission. Okay. All right, let's do this. I open my eyes once I hear Miyuri's voice. Yes. All right, let's do this. What do we get? Future gadgets? I take a deep breath of stand up. Miyuri's faster on her feet than Dara and I, so I had her pick up some things for me. She went all the way to the lab and back in the sweltering heat, but she does not. she's not even breathing hard. She's freaking strong, man. She runs up with me with a triumphant smile. Almost like a playful puppy shaking her tail. Okay, sure. In her hand is a plastic stick about 30 centimeters long. I take it and nod of satisfaction. Good job, Mayuri. 
オカリンの役に立ててねマユシーも嬉しいよあそれとねついでにこれも Is it a magnet? She hands me a banana. Alright, I'm seriously, I, I'm not sure where we're going here. <laughs> I guess she's telling me not to time travel on an empty stomach. So, what is it? The banana is the symbol of the future of our time traveling expertise. Banana, da yo! She's so cute. I love you, baby. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. I'm not sure what I'm doing. Sure. It's a lightsaber! <laughs> oh my gosh, it is a future device. What does it do? <laughs> Salium saber? Salium saber? Yeah, what is it? Oh, okay. <laughs> セーバーというネーミングの通り、剣の形になっているため、スパークウォーズごっこも可能なのだ。From Spark Wars. Alright, so I kind of agree, but I have no clue why he needed to get her to run across town to buy this. I mean, doesn't he had like a smoke grenade before? This seems a little basic. Uh, すごい。Yeah. <laughs> I love you for that. That's a fantastic response. <laughs> yes, that's true. Oh, there we go. That makes sense. Stop! You don't need to understand the, the mind of Hyo and Kyoma and the fact that he just makes random objects. <laughs> but hey, we needed this one. Ah, uh, see, that kind of makes sense. Everything is inventable. Yes, yes, yes. I stuffed my cheeks with banana and enraptured by my own genius. I truly am a mad scientist. <laughs> uh, I need to be quiet, sorry. I can't be too loud. I put the salium. Uh, salium. Sal. Sal. Salumi. Salumi saber into my pocket. It's about 30 centimeters long, so it sticks out a little, but I don't mind. I had daughter buy me a stun gun earlier. I pocket that too. With this, my preparations are complete. I gave Suza Ha a glance. オカリンおじさんもう一度あの日へ飛ぼう。Oh, more into the breach. 日へタイムマシンの燃料はあと一回往復する分しか残ってない。残るチャンスはただ一度だっていうこと。<sighs> いける as ready as I can be. 任せろ。Right. I follow Suza Ha to the time machine. While waiting for me to return, I asked Suza Ha if there was a chance I could might run into myself from last time. In other words, the me who killed Kirisu. She replied that wasn't possible. The world line where I killed Kirisu is minutely detailed, different, different from the one in which the time machine will take us. Time travel is a very small effect on divergence, much too small to cause any noticeable changes, but enough to ensure that there can never be two versions of the same time traveler. Ooh, that's very, that's very handy, for one thing. However, it is important to remember that world lines are not parallel worlds. Ultimately, tra ultimately attractor fields converge convergence mean, merges them into a single world line. My actions are not meaningless. If I succeed in deceiving both myself and the world, the entire universe will converge upon a different future. Okari. Yes, Miri. Miri leans through the hatch and gently strokes my cheek. I guarantee you we will. Of course. I return to smile and give her a thumbs up. I close the hatch as daughter and Miri see me off with words of encouragement. Suzuha is already operating the time machine. This mission has a future. 
Sees the house speaks, so she presses some buttons. We got this. We got this. Come on, we can do it. <laughs> what about you? Can you help somehow, maybe? Instead of answering, I close my eyes. I find myself strangely calm. No impatience, no tension, none of the anxiety I felt the first time. How many times have I tested failure? A tasted failure. My hubris hurt those closest to me. My foolishness cost them their dreams. And even though those mistakes have been undone, the memories still remain as a brand on my heart. <sighs> yes. It all meant something. Every mistake, every sacrifice. Without them, I would not be standing here now. From that knowledge, I draw strength, confidence, and pride. The memories I shoulder deserve nothing less. And so, I am no longer afraid. I will reach the unknown world line, Stein's Gate. Its future is uncertain, but that's how it should be. For once, I need not worry what fate has in store. Only one thing matters now. Saving Kudisu. Gravity pulls up my back. Rainbow lights start drifting through the compartment. It's time. This is my Ragnarok. Oh my gosh. I exit the time machine on a familiar rooftop. As before, it's empty. I can see the top of the train station a short distance away. This is the third time I've been here now. I run through the night plan and I head one last time. Time is short, but I have no choice. I have to do it. No, I will do it. Failure isn't an option. I wait for Suzuha to break the lock, then I run inside just like last time. Narrowly avoiding the first me again, I descend to the seventh floor. Last time I went all the way down to the fourth floor, but not this time. I direct my attention to the capsule toy machine toy machines near the landing. It's time for step one. Where the Goopa? Railnet Kakuru dot character doll series. This is it. On July 28th, the first first me won a super rare model Upa from this very machine. No time to waste. I insert 100 yen coin before I, I prepare beforehand to turn the lever hard. I bring a lot more just in case. Hey. Okay. The capsule falls into the slot. Just as I grab it. <laughs> oh, fetch! Um. My heart leaps into my throat. Now it's Miyuri's voice. She's already here? I quickly try to leave the area before Miyuri can see my face. Luckily, she is entranced by the capsule toy machine, so she doesn't realize who I am. Problem is, we probably just cleared it for her to get the metal loop up because convergence is a son of a gun! Once I get down to the fourth floor, I check the contents of the capsule. Oh wow, the metal upa is inside. This is the prize that was meant for me. Which means the first me will get. The answer is obvious, phase one is complete, time for phase two. I turn around abruptly. Kudisu. Yep, there she is! <laughs> Kudisu standing behind me, her mouth open in surprise. We need to have a chat! <laughs> My timing was perfect. Come on, come on, man, come on. Think. We got like here's what I think. I think we have to give her the code phrase. We have to give her like we have some time. We have to give her an explanation of what we've been through, and maybe and maybe she'll believe us. <laughs> Ooh, leave, leave everything to me. I say no more. If I tell her everything, she'll have no reason to talk to the first me. True. On July 28th, she came to me during Nak Nakabachi's presentation. She claimed that I had tried to tell her something, then proceeded to drag me out into the hallway for further questioning. That is part of my experience. This should be enough to ensure that it happens exactly as I remember. I pat Kirisu on the shoulder and race back up the stairs. Uh, oh, man. I run to the 6th floor, then creep up towards the 7th floor landing until I can just make out the capsule toy machines. What does she pull? As expected, there's the first me about to turn the lever in Miyuri stead. I'm glad we're checking this. Because there's two freaky metal Oopas. Okay. 
kind of the... Right? So we officially made a change. Is it enough, though? I grinned to myself. It worked. The order changed. Miyeri now is a regular Upa, not the metal one I gave her the first time. And that means... Alright, so once again, convergence can be kind of a kind of a B, so we need to figure out a way to get this metal upa as far away as possible, because I feel like if we still have it on us, we might have a problem. The presentation is about to begin. The first me heads up to the eighth floor. But Miyeri doesn't move. She takes out a pen and starts signing the upa. Just as planned. When Dr. Nakabachi def uh, defected to Russia on August 21st, he had Mayuri's metal upa with him. If he had a plastic one instead, it should change the fate of the Nakabachi paper. But one question remains. How exactly did Mayuri's upa fall into Dr. Nakabachi's hands? I watched as Mayuri finishes signing her name. She nods in satisfaction and runs after this fir the first me. Just before she gets to the stairs, she puts the upa into her coat pocket. But it doesn't go all the way. As she runs up the stairs, I see it fall out and roll away. Miyuri is completely oblivious. A moment later, she disappears from sight. I look at the upa lying on the floor. Does Dr. Baki come pick it up? How? He's in the middle of his presentation upstairs. He doesn't have any opportunity. <gasps> no, it's Kudisu! She comes back and she remembers it was in the vanilla folder. She comes back up the stairs. Or, or down or up them or whatever. She sees the upa. And she probably, because she is kind of, she is an otaku, she's like, oh, that's really cute. And, well, she's not even just an otaku, she just likes cute stuff, you know? So she probably just takes it because she's like, oh, this is cute. Yep, there she is. That's when Kirisu comes up from downstairs. I quickly hide the stairwell across the landing. Kirisu reaches the 7th floor without noticing me. She finds the fallen upa and picks it up. So it was Kirisu who found the upa. The butterfly effect. In three weeks, this completely innocuous event changes the outcome of an accidental fire on what must have been thousands of planes flying that day. By extension, it changes the fate of the entire human race. Maybe. I'd still throw the freaking papers into the fire if I could. Kirisu looks curiously at the Upa, then looks around as if searching for the owner. Of course, Kirisu doesn't know who Miyuri is. At this point in time, those two aren't even acquaintances yet. Oh, I love this. is exciting. Right after realizing there's no one around, Kirisu puts the Upa into her envelope and goes up to the 8th floor. Now that I've seen what I need to see, I go upstairs too and head to the employee hallway. Em yeah, the, em the empty employee hallway. Okay, stun gun, stun gun. Here's where it gets serious. I grab the sal selenium sa uh, saber and shake it silently, thus activating the red fluorescent reaction inside. It'll last about 10 minutes. It should get dim before Kudusu makes her appearance. I know what I need to do. The problem is that my window of opportunity is so slim. Will I be able to handle the enraged Dr. Nakabaki? Nakabachi, Nakabachi! On a mistake, and Kudusu will die. We've already changed the future. I'd like, well, if we have time, I'd actually go take the metal upa and like shut it into the time machine. <laughs> that way, it could be like kind of per like, like it'll be like, want to be insulated a little bit from causality in there, like, hopefully enough. I'm still kind of scared this could go wrong. Right, right. Literally to the last second, like probably the day before he died. We can do it. Hion and Kyoma will save Kirisu. I close my eyes and wait for the time to come, hidden behind the same pile of cardboard boxes as last time. 
I hear the sound of sparse applause from the event hall, which means I should be hearing footsteps soon. <sighs> come on, heart. Come on, we can do this. There they are. Kitty Sue's come right on time. She leans against the wall and looks inside her envelope, smiling softly as she does. And now I know the reason behind that smile. The little Oopa. It's an Oopa inside. She's probably smiling at how adorable it is. That smile really does suit you, Kitty Sue. Oh yeah, it does. I stifle a chuckle. I'm surprised I'm calm enough to feel that way, despite the current situation. Once Nakabachi appears, that's my signal to spring into action. So we're not even gonna let him talk, huh? Kitty Sue probably won't ever forgive us for that. I'll bring out the Kalium saber as soon as that as soon as he tries to take out his knife. Then I'll scare him away and stun Kitty Sue. The stun gun I brought should handle both tasks flawlessly. That's the plan, at least. Makes no instead of stabbing her, we stun her. I like that. That makes sense. The next set of footsteps echoes down the hallway. Kudisu looks up. I can't see Nakabachi, but I know it's him. Oh. I hate him more than most people I've ever met in my life, and most characters I've ever read about in books. <laughs> Papa. Everything, even the words she speaks are the same. それは何だ。パパがタイムマシーンの発表会をするとき言って、私も考えてみたの。タイムマシーンは作れるのかどうか。So sad. The atmosphere is far from pleasant. Nakabashi doesn't even try to hide his displeasure. And the first move, the first me is probably a fault for that, at least partially. Looks like it's about time for Nakabachi to go ballistic. I grab the Kalium, ka, ka, uh, Kalume saber and make one final check. It's already dimmed down. All I have to do is remove the cap at the tip of the fake blood will. Here we go. Uh oh. My breath catches in my throat. In the darkness of my hanging spot, I, I bring the uh, Kalume saber close to my eyes and peer inside. Fake blood has begun to, has begun to coagulate. No, this shouldn't happen. It was certain the liquid would remain fluid around 30 minutes after lo losing luminescence. Was it defective? Come to think of it, we never tested the Kalumin saber. It can only be used once before the tube needs to be replaced. Given the last financial situation, we thought it would be a waste to use it, so we never did. Ah, fetch! How could I fail to consider this possibility? If I had half a brain, I would have brought a spare. This is bad. The plan's falling apart. No. <laughs> We don't have time. We'll make it work. Nakabachi's shrill shriek startles me. Freaking out! Oh, please. Time won't stop for me. How do I recover from this setback? Can't leave. Nakabachi is about to attack his daughter. If I make my appearance after that, it'll be the same as last time. I'll end up killing Kurisu again. No matter what, I can't let that happen. What do I do? Do I go back to the time machine and try again? We can't. No, remember what Suzaha said? There's not enough fuel for another trip. This is my last chance. My one thing is that it started coagulating. Maybe it hasn't progressed too far yet. Also, okay, warm it up. Sometimes you can defer, you can like delay or shorten like a process like coagulation by warming it up. Quiet. Sasato to America and quiet. Nido to kawo miseru na. Just a hole. My heart is pounding. I'm sweating like crazy. It feels like I've just run a marathon. I cover my mouth to suppress the sound of my breathing. 
それとも下げすんどるのか娘の仏祭で。Such a terrible father. 何言ってるのよ落ち着いて。私は十分落ち着いておる。差しずするな !Nakabashi is about to snap. Events are proceeding just like last time, barreling inexorably towards disaster. Please, I find myself begging, make time stop. But another voice from within answers. Are you praying, Hyon and Kyoma? Have you forgotten? I am a god! I'm 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 a god! Persona 5 in me is saying this man's got a mind palace for sure. Change the future. Deceive the world. Nano Nia no Mio na Wakazo no say the Svete Dynasida. So she did Omega son now at a shiomite, Hana de Warate Tano Mosh Tirzo. Dokoma de Oyo Baga is Reba Kirasu. He only ruined it because it's true. He did steal his ideas. Horatanate. この論文に意見が欲しいのか意見ならここで言ってやる。Oh, この論文は私の名前で発表する。以上だ。Such a jerk. I won't, I won't court the mercy of a heartless god. I will say Kirishu myself. She won't die again. Not in my hands. Not in anyone's. <sighs> まさか。Here comes. What does she not remember? The seminal. So, I'm not going to die. Nakamachi strikes Kirisu on the cheek. Three, two, one. It's starting. Naka, Nakabachi puts his hands around Kudushu's neck. He cri her cries of agony fill my ears. There's still a way to prevent Kudushu's death. The puddle of blood is all into Kudushu's body. There's one more way to reproduce it. Um, hang on a second. Um, one more way. One last chance. It's a gamble to be sure, even if it succeeds. I don't know what effect it might have on the Science Gate world, Lion. <laughs> Oh, I don't like this. Because oh. he could be talking. He could be talking about Dr. Nakabachi. But I don't think he is. I think he's talking about himself. だから遠ざけたお前と親子だと思われるのが耐えられなかった You suck, you suck お前がいたせいでお前のせいで He sucks so bad It matters not I am Hyon and Kyoma, the mad scientist who defies God My true desire is chaos I have no need for a predetermined future Yose! Calmly, I step out from my hiding spot Takabachi looks at me in disbelief. His eyes are wide and bloodshot. Yeah, it's me. Nakabachi, let's go, Kirisu. Because you're a freaking. Psychopathic jerk. So, do I my Christo Shimisha was a titana? So, so long, though. It's also freaking paranoid. You're the son. You're the son's old god. She don't want. Nakabachi pulls a knife from his pocket. The blade reflects cold light. Once I see that glint, I laugh disdainfully. You're the Mirgoi. So, no, any more. Wagana. Oh man. 
知らないなら覚えておけフェニックスの法王にいいそして凶悪なる真実で法王に今日まで Oh, oh man Oh man, that name is really fitting He's the phoenix, the terrible truth that must never be revealed. The phoenix that repeats itself, the cycle over and over again. We're born from the ashes, the time leaping that we did over and over and over again to prevent the, the terrible, terrible past that we could not allow be, to be revealed because we couldn't bear it. Oh my gosh, he is a phoenix! <laughs> He is the bringer of chaos, the destroyer of order. He literally became what he needed to. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Could she staggers to her feet with her hand on her neck? Never. I just missed Kirishi's plea and instead turned to Nakabachi with my arms spread wide. どうしたドクターナカバチお前の異性は口だけかこの俺を殺すのではなかったのかもっとも神に等しい力を持つこの俺を殺すことなどお前ごときには無理だろうがな I still don't like this plan, Okabe! Here comes. Nakabachi goes into a frenzy, he charges me with his knife point first. Nakabachi's completely lost his mind, I can see it in his eyes. He won't stop. And if he won't stop, then I'll stop him with my own body. Don't let Kudushu jump in front of you, dang it! The knife approaches, its point glistening menacingly in the dim light. No, watch your peripheral! Inches away, don't move a muscle. This is my last chance. I'll do whatever it takes. Please not be her. Don't let it be her. Intense pain rushes through my abdomen. Oh no. I feel the cold steel sink into my body. He did it. He stabbed me with a knife that killed Kirisu. The pain flares. I feel like my insides are being torn out. Change the future. Change the future. Oh! Nakabachi yanks out the knife, blood gushes from the open wound. The iron taste of blood spreads through my mouth. Pain threads to steal away my consciousness. My body's on fire. My vision blurs. I struggle desperately to stay on my feet. <laughs> I whip out the stun gun and switch it on. The electric arc crackles to life inches from Nakabachi's face. He instantly turns pale. I spear him with my glare and take a step forward. A wave of nausea surges over me. <laughs> Blood spews from my throat, but I don't look away. I keep my eyes fixed on Nakabachi. <laughs> Fortunately, we don't. He's gonna run, and then I know what's gonna happen next. Kuzu runs up to me. I'm really sorry about this. She holds me and supports my body. 
今すぐ救急車を呼ぶから I'm really sorry What is she doing trying to help me? Didn't she hear me threaten to kill her? You're too soft hearted for a tsundere eh? Back when I was trying to save Miguel you were always the one who saved me so this time I'm really sorry about this. Kitty <sighs> 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 convulses. Strength leaves her legs as she used to support me. She collapses. I'm sorry. I send her my silent apology. <laughs> <laughs> you have to admit, the sight of a man who's been run through with a knife, staggering towards you, saying stuff like that would be horrifying. Come on, Hokabe. I know you're doing this for the right reasons. I can... I can, I can I hate that this is how it ends. I had actually has to happen, but it absolutely makes sense. <laughs> you run away, you idiot. Nakabachi tosses this knife away with a pitiful cry. He takes a step back, two steps back. There it goes. Firing the stun, stun gun once more does the trick. Nakabachi turns and flees down the hallway towards the elevators. But first, he makes sure to pick up the envelope Kirisu drops. How shrewd of him. <sighs> I touched my wound. It's, it's, that's bad. All right, um, Suzaha? Suzaha? <laughs> The lightest touch sends pain coursing through my body. I fall to my knees. I feel faint. The bleeding won't stop. The blood is starting to pool on the floor. Get You gotta get out of the way. You can't let yourself be seen. I press my hands in the blood. Mother. Good. Close. Close. I reach for my stomach, wet and glistening with blood. Pressure, put pressure, take a breath and dive my fingers into the wound. Are you freaking serious? You meant there wasn't enough blood yet. <coughs> <coughs> oh gosh. The pain is like nothing I've ever experienced. You freaking animal. I'm able to bear it, I throw back my head. Oh no. Oh my gosh. I scream until my throat is raw. I can't stop now. Fighting against the urge to faint, I feel I feed strength into my hand. I feel strength into my hand and pull the wound wider. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Do you imagine? My blood paints the floor crimson. How? <sighs> Could you imagine doing that to yourself willingly? Fetch, man. That's on a whole nother tier. Uh-oh. Suzaha. Suzaha runs up to me. I had to save her. You have to understand, Suzaha, we won. Suzaha. Oh, 
かないのか床フフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフフ Because you know who I would be if I were a character? I'd be freaking Suzaha, because I'm the kind of person who would end up walking in on this psycho maniac mess of, 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 a, of, a, of a puddle of blood that we have here. She looks down and beholds my masterpiece. <laughs> to deceive myself, to deceive the world. Stage is set. Not if time changes. Shin of a kid, night a roga. Oreo, that it at all, not the end. Get him out. We gotta get him out of here. We gotta go. We have to make sure the other Okabe who is coming right now doesn't see this. We have to make this finish. We can't let something this dramatic, we can't let something this drastic be wasted, or else we'll, for, we'll forego everything we meant to do here. If convergence holds, then it's already determined that I could die, not here. If I die in 2025, that's a fixed event on the beta world line. That was my bet. Freak, man, hell my gosh. I intentionally provoked Nakabachi to rage. I took the knife meant for Kirisu and survived. The wound gave me what I needed to carry out the plan. Though I have to admit, I didn't think it would hurt this much. There's no telling what'll happen when we reach Stein's Gate. The future of that world line is still undecided. There's no reason I can't include my death. How ironic. I made a bet based on the guarantee that I wouldn't die, but winning that bet means death, very real possibility. I twisted my hips into a, lips into a smile. Time to put the finishing touch on my masterpiece. Suzuha. Gotta leave. Chris no karada wo. <laughs> Suzuha picks up the unconscious Kirisu. Then she lays her face down on top of my blood puddle. Ugh. What a thing to wake up to, man. But you gotta do what you gotta do. Oh, man. Kirishu doesn't wake up. She's perfectly still. But she's definitely breathing. Man, her hair's gonna be so messy. Oh, man. I stroke her hair gently. And the worst part is that she'll probably never know. Even if we make this timeline work out, will they ever meet again? She'll never know what was done for her. And you know what? That's the mark of a true time traveler. I think I said this from day one. I think I said it episode one. Is that if you ever were a time traveler, you need to make sure that your touch is never known. It's the only way it'll ever work. Because that's what love is all about. No conditions. Even if we reach Tyne's Gate. Even if Kirisu lives. Even if I don't die. We'll never meet again. Kirisu will never join the lab. We'll never build the Time League machine together. But still, I'm glad I was able to save her. Sayonara. Bye and good luck. Please stay unconscious for a while. I need you to deceive me, the first me. 
Well, Suzaga goes to pick up the knife. I use the wall to climb to my feet. Let's go. <laughs> just noticed? Yeah, that's a bit of an oversight. I feel pressure crushing my body. My wound throbs, I feel like a groaning, but I bite my lip and I bear it. We saw the Oopa, don't we? Rainbow lights fill my vision. The time machine is activating. This is how I wrap my wound with a towel. あたしもおじさんも誰も知らない世界が待ってる。私は生きていて。Someone's warm hand grasps mine. Tightly, tightly. Mirai I slowly close my eyes. It's hard to breathe, but my pain feels distant now. I don't think we're gonna make it either to the hop. The warmth of her hand slowly fades away. Oh, you serious? It's just gonna end right there? Oh no! You can't just do that! But I guess it. Uh... But I suppose that's the whole concept of like it's a future that can't be written is that we have to decide how we think it plays out. The real ending. I really, really hope it has something at the end of this. I want to know. I need to know. I need to know. Could you do that though? Could you like die forgotten? knowing that you'd save the person you loved even though they'd never know the love that they shared with you. I'd really like to think I could be like Okabe.
Freaking amazing, man. What a freaking game. I keep- I'm hoping. I'm hoping. Please, please, please let there be more. Ugh. Freaking did it, though. Because, like, they'd find her, she'd be recovered, and she'd be horrified, and she'd wonder what happened to her father. Her father runs away for her asylum, which probably asylum for the murder that he committed. Or at least in this case, he would have thought he committed. Because they'll never find Okabe, so, like, they'll never know what happened to him. Maybe. Maybe could have shown him will meet, though, because she'll approach him and be like, You saved my life. And he's like, What are you talking about? Uh, but then. Dr. Nakabachi will arrive in Russia, but the plane, the fire will destroy the paper. Kurishu will live. He'll be discredited. It should all be over. And we'll see where the future takes us. Because the crazy thing is that time travel is still within the realm of possibility for sure, because it's like, Kurishu lives. She's the one that invents all the time machine stuff. But maybe she'll set that aside now. Put it behind her and focus on neurology. And then what if what if this Science Gate world line is just our world line? I thought that's the ultimate, like, wouldn't that be crazy? Like, what if something like this really did happen? Like, none of us would know. We don't have the reading Steiner, so... I really don't know. There's a lot of physics that implies that you could achieve time travel in the right circumstances, but I just don't think that they're realistic. Like, I don't know if we'll ever get to that point. First, we need to invent warp drives. If we can invent warp drives, then maybe I'll start believing that we could actually do time travel, but this kind of crap is what's going to happen if we do. Good music, by the way. Good freaking music. Come on. Please have more for me. Please. I know it's probably a perfect way to end the game, like, just leaving it like that, but I really wish it more. Okay, music's playing. Oh, I don't know, man. I don't think there's anything else. There's no phone call in the middle of the credits. You guys are freaking amazing. I'm so glad I got to play this game, man. So glad. It's such a, such a big part of my life right now. It's freaking awesome. Five powered games. Thank you so much. Thank you. Gotta start it. Negative. 1.048596. I don't it was a negative there. I couldn't I guess I couldn't really register, could it? Oh yes! Oh, oh my goodness! It's been a month since then. Oh, oh, oh I'm gonna cry all over again. I only had a single tear to shed that time once I realized what he was gonna do. The wound was deep enough to require surgery. If I'd just been one hour late getting to the hospital, I would have died from blood loss. It's freaking, you know what's terrifying about that? Like, remember, I told you about that? My wife had that happen to her recently. She literally was bleeding out from the complications of medical stuff that was going on. She she was about an hour away from death. She went into hem uh, hem what was it? hemorrhagic shock. Like, she passed out. Like, they said there were, the blood was everywhere. Like, so my wife went through this. Granted, she didn't try and rip her own abdomen open, but, like, the fact that this happened to somebody who I'm so close to is freaking... It's crazy. The doctor laughed as he told me this. It's hilarious. Sure, because that's what we should joke about. After being cooped up in the hospital for so long, it's exciting to be walking around Akiba again. I look around to see if Akiba's any different from what I remember, but nothing catches my eye. I I just get this feeling that there's more shop, Moe shops than before. The mysteries of divergence. I chuckle to myself, then dig into my pocket. Something jingles. Metal Upa? Oh. Hey! It's the pin, and the, all the names are there. 
There are metal pins inside, eight of them. The future Gadget Laboratory's members' badges. The design based on the pin Suzaha brought from the future. Which world line Suzaha was that again? That was the first one. <laughs> anyway, back then we searched all over Akiba for that pin. And while I was hospitalized, I thought it was the perfect opportunity to ask Dara to have them made. And of course, the ones we commissioned to make them or make them was the shady foreigner street vendor. <laughs> of course. The, the, our favorite uh, English speaking moment. The final product was slightly different from Susan Haas, but it's pretty well done. I pass through the archway of the Yonabayashi Shrine and head to the courtyard. There, brandishing a sword with sublime dignity, stands Miko. The Miko is so lovely that anyone would doubtlessly stop to stare. Well, that's not a Miko, and that's not a real sword. That sword is 980 yen imitation, and a beautiful Miko is a guy. The good girl lifts his head and sound of my footsteps. Aww. As soon as our eyes meet, he runs up to me in a fluster. His eyes are already wet with tears. Aww. Yep, 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 yep. Are we about to indulge in the love that was always meant to be? すみません。僕何も知らなくて。知らなくて当然だ。教えていないからな。でも無事に退院できてよかったです。僕僕嬉しい。<笑> I wonder what we had to tell them. Like, how did we explain it to them? And then he starts crying in earnest. Seeing his tears, I feel an urge to pat his head and tell him everything will be all right. But I resist and sigh instead. それを天然でやっているんだから、それは戦列なコスプレデビューも飾るわけだ。ファンクラブまでできてるらしいじゃないか。Really? He actually went and did it. <laughs> really filled me in on the situation. After years of pers uh, persistent nagging, she finally convinced Lukaku to cosplay into the end of the summer break. It wasn't in time for Kamima, but he wrote he wore one of Miyuri's costumes as a cosplay event in early September. His cosplay debut was effective. Dozens of photographers took his picture, and the images soon went viral on the net. Try to look up pictures of Lukaku now, and you'll get a ton of hits. He's being swarmed by fans. And since he's what they call a trap, he's popular with the girls, too. <laughs> Great! There's some things in this world I just don't understand. I mean, too, man. すごく戸惑ってます。だが、お前のコスプレ姿、俺も生で見てみたかったぞ。ああ。無理です。岡部さんになんてそんな恥ずかしくて死んじゃいます。だが楽しかったのだろ。マユリがそう言っていた。はい。ああ、you he truly is a worthy disciple. だがまだまだ油断するな。次なる目標は精神ざんまりの極意継承。それさえ得すれば、お前は己の中に封印されている邪悪な炎に焼かれることもないだろう。ああ。その時こそ、主と秋葉原を守る巫女、ウルシバラ
生まれた時からすでにラボメンだったのだゆえに誇るがいい It's not an exaggeration, it's the truth. Togoko most likely doesn't remember. But it's okay, even if I'm the only one who does. Yoko. Yeah, it's so good. Aww. He starts crying again. I was just. I was just. I was just. I was 入りたいなって思っていて。Oh, congratulations, you made it. でも、勇気がなかったから、言い出せなかったんです。ありがとうございます。He bows his head. それは世界にたったの8個しかない、貴重なものだ。お前を最悪から守ってくれる、マジックアイテムでもある。<笑>そうなんですかなあだからなくすなよ。そうだ、ルーセル。はい。Look, nods with a joyful smile on his face. Too cute. Must escape before I submit the feelings. Once again, her ending, not great. She's great. Her ending's not. I pass through the May Queen's door for the first time in forever. Bailey runs over to greet me. She suddenly links arms with me. At first, I get a little flustered when something soft touches my elbow, but then I break into a cold sweat once I feel the murderous glares from the surrounding Fanish fans. Uh oh. Yeah, but you're gonna put me back in if you don't let go of me. <laughs> I take a fanish off me and take a deep breath. It's not for show. I see she's still making up her own backstories for people. It boggles the mind that this crazy cat girl is behind the re redevelopment of Akihabara. Maybe the world's just messed up. Yep. She shows me to a table where I order iced coffee. So, so, May Queen, when you go there, that's got to get him out of here. She come with two old doilies on the nya. So, go in ya. So, go in ya. Oh, that is awesome. So, no, 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 キョーマ、これはやらなければいけない使命なのにゃ。うん。萌えの力を今こそこの聖地に集結させることで、奴らの来るべき大行政に備えてるのにゃ。何奴らか。俺が入院している間に目覚めたというのか。ああ、he's <笑> playing along. <笑> フェデスは、ファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダーのファーダ
入院している間に心の試練を乗り越えたというのかにゃやっぱり今日は大した男にゃ Test of eye. Sure, just roll with it.、Uh, <laughs> I kind of do like this. Like, I have to admit, especially if he's playing along, having them like constantly writing their own stuff together, it's really cute. It's like, it's also like,、um, yeah, sure, go with that. I don't really get what's going on, so this is not for now. Double <laughs> number <laughs> 007 La Yoda Stella Stella Stella. Finish a nice smile at each other. And then we high five. Arigata, yeah? Mirai Gadget, thank you, Java. Akiba no Kibonia. Kanda, Asobini, the Muita, yeah? Of course. Ah, Motironda. Dadimo Yorokobudaro. When I get back to the lab, I'm startled to find an unexpected visitor. Oh. 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 Ho. Ho. Ah.、Uh... Okay. First off, rounders probably don't exist because we probably are existing outside of a certain timeline. Well, they kind of existed, so maybe they're still part of the project? Second off, is Nai g o n n a still try and murder us in 15 years? Oh, Okabe. Ome tying s h a n o g a She probably can't because we never made the, the timely machine, so I don't think she can. So she's probably just a little girl. Eh, ma. Tenoji,、uh, Yugo, and I are standing up front. Kiri Moaka is with them. The rounders who killed me early on another world line. Nai hides behind her father when she sees me, like usual. So, so. Show guy s h o k z e Tenoji indicates Moka with his chin. Yogara, which is a bite of Surgoda Natagoda. Nice. How is she going to work there, though? She doesn't talk. Moka bows her head. She's silent as always, but at least she's not holding her phone. I guess that's some improvement. Nite no tori, buys on a yatsanga. Yoroshku at the gray. Yoroshku mon animo. She at the store, call me she desio. She out, she? Dar da Soria. I was her. <laughs> About to Moka. Shining Finger. Kanojo no Nurikume. Tenoji and Moka ignore me completely. Mani Hempura no Shigoto de IBN Gosen Hyako is Shuni Sanash de Kureta. Did they find one? Maybe she was able to find one this time. I got a thank you. I got a thank you email from her during my stay in the hospital. An email helped me figure out our relationship on this world line. Oh, Reno, Maboroshi no PC, the Yaska? Miss Cotonogayo. Moka shakes her head. Ma, Toshi Dense, it's me, and I'm on the grana. Moeka, another Brown Can Cobo de Baito. Did Tenoji tell her who, she, who he is? I thought Moka wasn't supposed to know if b e a s t r i d e n t i t y Huh. Nai speaks up in a tiny voice. So I did a little bit of 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 a Still a little, I'm still a little sketched out by you. Are you psychopaths? Oh, 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 And the fact that she's pretty freaking adorable and that you technically know her as a rounder didn't apply whatsoever. Masaka, Uchino Mise de Baito Yatoko Narutana. Hm. 
前にも雇っていたじゃないですかあ何寝ぼけたこと言ってんだうちはこれまでバイトを使ったことなんてねえよ。はい。ああ、こっち。スーザハーは今日のスーザハーのアルファワールドライン。スーザハーは今日のフューチャーを作ったことです。The current world line has a different future, so she didn't come. The time she spent here never happened. まあ、そういうことなら、よろしく頼むぞ、モエカ。Yes, this is the perfect opportunity. I take the pen out of my pocket and hand it to Mocha. これはいきなりナンパかうちのバイトに手出してんじゃねえよ。<笑> Don't worry. ラボメンナンバー005の証であるピンバッジだ。いつでも2階にある我がラボを訪れるがいい。ああ。It's very generous of him considering. Well, I mean, now that we understand her position better, it's a lot easier to have compassion for, but still, those memories are very, very real that she killed a year. Oh, okay, stares at the pin in her hand. Tada, she. I be in a go saying Hako Sagasnoniva. Mo Nidoto, Skiawana Karna. Surene Azdana, Tetsda Terio. Kotoaru. Konore wa Isogashi Noda. Catch the attention of the rounders again? <laughs> no, thanks. Besides, the three of them were better off if they never found the IBN 5200. It's probably still at the shrine, actually. I end the conversation with a shrug and head up the stairs to the head to the stairs. Okabeku. Mocha calls my name. I turn back to see Mocha smiling ever so faintly. Aww. Kore. Arigato. Good. Ah. Yeah. The hatred I once felt towards them is gone. I forgive Mocha and Tenoji both. Now that I've destroyed our time machine, we can go back to being good neighbors. I won't pry into their secret lives, and I won't attempt to fight them either. It's all up to them. However, the affection that Nai shows towards Moka brings an undeniable warmth to my heart. Yeah. Kind of makes it feel like we're okay. Rather walk into the lab and greet e d by the chiming of the microwave oven. Lady smile bright, smiles brightly as she takes her juicy chicken number one out of the microwave. Do do do! Okari! Aww, that's adorable. <laughs> Moshkashite. Okari to Okarin o gattai sase ta no ka? Huh. Mai mo itta yo. The Miri holds out a steaming chicken. Okari mo taberu? Tai wa ni iko ageru? Aww. I accept the gift of chicken and pop it in my mouth. I guess it's because I've had nothing but crappy hospital food for a month, but it's so delicious I want to cry. We disassembled disassem- the phone wave and took it to change weeks ago. Oh, so they were both got any little on the o. Good job, daughter. Daughter pops out from the development room as his ro-、uh, in his, all his rotund glory. I wonder if he's making a new future gadget. Got the no go. Nice. 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 どうしてマユシーに一言も言わずに退院しちゃったのあ、oh, あ、マユシーとダル君で病院に行ったら、もう退院しましたって看護師さんに言われちゃったんだから。ああ。ナースエロかったよ、ナース。僕がオカリンの代わりに入院したかった。うん、投げた。お前は俺の保護者になったつもりかずいぶん出世したな。だが勘違いするな。お前はあくまで俺の非保護者だ。おしめのお世話もしてあげたのに。おお、へい、どっかだ。ふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふふ
Especially Mieri. Even though it was her summer break, she visited me every day. I'm grateful for this childhood friend of mine from the bottom of my heart. She's a ditz to be sure, and she seems to always have to need someone to look out for her. But she's actually quite tough for her age. You shut your mouth. You got seven years to get married and, and uh, have a daughter, sir. I think I need to die for a bit. <laughs> I popped Bailey on the head. Kondo. Juicy Karage number one will cut the other. That's all she needs. <laughs> Aww. I breathe another sigh of relief when I say Miyuri's in is an innocent smile. <sighs> Miyuri's still alive. I've seen her die countless times. Though the events of the world line have been undone, my struggle to escape them was not in vain. If the same thing were to happen again, what would I do? Would I accept her death this time? <laughs> you wouldn't have a choice. Or would I try again to save her, even if I meant building another time machine? There's no way to know. The future is undecided. But for now, Miyuri is here. And that means everything to me. I give Miyuri and Daru their pins. Yeah, Miyuri pins the badge on her chest and shows it off with a pirouette. <laughs> Nobody really made that a rule, but whatever. でも、これ、あのね、マヨシーはこのピンバッジのデザインを見せてもらったときから一つだけわからないことがあるのです。いや、だろうね。文字が書いてあるでしょ。おえすえいちえむけゆうえふえにせんじゅうってやっぱおかべしなほしだそれとうるしばらフェリスここまではわかるんだけどねそのほかのえむとけとえってだれのことなの M for Makasa, Makasa, K for Kiryu, and A for Amane. But the current Megui wouldn't understand. Those three were lab mems on a world line undone and forgotten. I haven't told Megui or Dogger about them. They wouldn't believe me if I told them, especially about the last initial, A. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. I mean, how do I tell Dogger who's gonna have a daughter? I can just imagine his reaction. Oh, no. Oh boy. Uh, he'd say something gross like that, no doubt. I remember. As I lay dying in the time machine, Suza Hawk gripped my hand and said, そこに到達したら、きっと私は消える。一緒にシュタインズゲートにたどり着いたことをお祝いすることはできないはずだから、ここでお礼を言っておくよ。ありがとう、おじさん。<laughs> Just as she predicted, Suzuha vanished the moment we returned to August 21st. Right before my very eyes, the time machine was enveloped in rainbow light and disappeared. She was smiling as she faded away. That was proof I had reached Science Gate. And that's why I don't mourn Suzuha. <laughs> I wonder who, who Dyer's wife is. It'd be really cool if we got to figure out who that is. I don't know what the future will bring. There's still a possibility that Dyer won't get married. The Cezaha won't be born. But still, <clears throat> I believe that in seven years we'll meet again. And that's when I give her this pin. Her birthright is lab mem number 008. 
Until then, I'll keep it in a safe place. Uh, I aimlessly head out to town alone. I want to get a better look at the Steins Gate world line. But try as I may, I can't find anything drastically different. Way back when, Fadish's demon erased the Moe shot from Akiba. That time was obvious that the world had changed. I feel unsatisfied as I looked up at the Radicon. Obviously, there's no satellite stuck in its roof. They open, it's open for business as usual. When I arrived in this world line right after I saw Suzaha disappear, the very first thing I did was ask Miyuri and Dario a question. Have there been any murders at the Radicon? As they panicked at the sight of my blood blood-stained body, they answered that no one had been murdered at Radicon. And we waited for the ambulance to arrive, I had Dario call up the news on my phone. They were running the story about Nakabachi's flight to Russia. Yes. This time, Nakabachi looked so terribly agitated. His eyes were bloodshot, he was yelling, spraying spit everywhere, his appearance was strikingly similar to how I last saw him in the hallway at Radicon. To me, his unintelligible rambling was evidence of Operation Skull's success. <laughs> Serves you right. Oh, jeez, literally making a public threat. Right. Subtitles read, what was your thesis about? Time travel. The fact that he's talking about time travel, Serge probably gonna take him out. The screen immediately returned to the studio, where a female reporter continued. I'm sure. ロシアに亡命したドクターナカバチ氏こと牧瀬翔一氏が木久和の土門地獄国際空港に到着直後ロシア当局に拘束されたもようです。Cuz Oh man, it mentions him too. I don't think anyone's gonna listen to Nakabachi now. For argument's sake, let's just say Nakabachi manages to recreate Kirisu's thesis from memory. Nothing will come of it as long as Kirisu is alive. The scientific community undoubtedly trusted Maka Mikase's daughter over the father, meaning Kirisu can deter any attempts made by Nakabachi. World War III won't break out, or at least it won't be over Nakabachi's paper. <sighs> Might be more Kudusu. <laughs> I haven't seen Kudusu. Apparently, Kudusu reported to the police that I was stabbed, but at present there has been no progress in the investigation, as the victim, from their point of view, up and disappeared. I heard from Dari that no one was murdered at Radikan, and I couldn't find a single report of anyone dying at the area that day. Kudusu is still alive, not much is certain, but I haven't had any contact with her since then. Aside from the few words we exchanged at the Radikan, the current and Kudusu and I are strangers. Besides, I was bedridden. It's not like I could have gone to see her, even if I'd wanted to. Kizu said that she was supposed to go back to America in August. That was on the Alpha World Line, so things may have changed, but what reason would she have to stay in Japan after what her father did to her? I thrust my hand into my pocket. Two pins remained. One of them for LabMem001, that's me. The remaining badge, which belonged to LabMem004, may never reach its rightful owner. But Kudusu is alive, and that's good enough for me. I once chose to let her die. I once killed her with my own two hands. But this time, I was able to save her. No one remembers those three weeks we spent together with Kudusu. No one but me. No, I will remember. I will never forget. So I don't need anything else. I don't want anything else. That's a lie. You would admit, if she walked up to you right now, you would be so happy. Even though she would never know who we were. Hey, Kudusu. I don't know what the future holds. War may still break out. 
CERN may still complete their time machine. But at the very least, the future is undecided. We're building it now, from the bottom up. Not just me, not just you, but every man, woman, and child. So keep on watching, wherever in this wide world you may be. I take out my own pin and fasten it to my chest. I walk through the sea of shoppers, staring straight ahead. No. No way. Oh, that was... I quickly turn around. Just now, in the corner of my eye, I saw her. The girl who shouldn't be here. Her long hair fluttered as she passed by me. Oh my gosh, there, it's like the friggin' end of your name. Familiar figure, I'd recognize that back anywhere. She stopped too in the middle of the sidewalk. Slowly, slowly she turns to face me. Oh, fetch. Oh, oh no, it's her. I thought she'd gone back to America. It's, it's her. She doesn't even know me. That voice, that face, that hair, those eyes. The Kasi Kiddus who is standing there, the same as I remember her. あの時助けてくれたあなたをずっと。ファッチマン。私一言お礼が言いたくて。オフコースキャン。オーマイガード。どうしても Kiddusu looks so radiant, she tries to hold back her tears. Just when I thought I'd finally suppressed it all, my love for her flows out at once. I'm so happy that I want to cry too. What do you do here, man? She has no idea who you are, but you gotta do something! You can't let this pass you by! So I hide my embarrassment, take out my phone, and put it to my ear. なぜ彼女がここにいる俺のリーディングしたいのは反応しなかったというのに何俺が守れだとやれやれ勝手なことを言ってくれるやれやれ勝手なことを言ってくれるやれやれ勝手なことを言ってくれるやれやれ勝手
ようこそ我が助手マキセクリスいやクリスティーナ I reach into my pocket and take out the last pin. Nobody knows what the future holds. And that's why, just as this reunion demonstrates, the possibilities are endless. I place the pin in Kurisu's hand and gently close her hand in mine. And holding back my tears, I tell her. Oh my gosh. Fetch, man. Oh. It's so. So freaking good. Yes. Thinking, yes. Oh my gosh, I can get it all back. Oh, I'm so happy. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. Oh. It took such a long time to get here, but man, that was such a good ending. Oh. To think. Oh. <laughs> I'm flabbergasted. She freaking channeled her old memories. They, she, there's such a good. So many, she's gonna stick around. They're gonna be able to talk. It's gonna happen. They're gonna have. They're gonna have the relationship they deserved. Oh my gosh! Such a powerful ending, man. It's so good. It's so exciting. I can't wait. I can't. I. I. It's like. It's like. Of course. Like the rest of the future, probably full of just joy and happiness, which is why we don't see it. Although I do wonder, who did Daru end up marrying? I wonder. Wouldn't it be insane if it was Ferris? I don't think it will be, but who knows? But it's just so freaking cool. What a what a journey! What a, what a journey we've been on, huh? Like, look at here we are. This is the beginning. This is where we all. This is where it all started. I. Uh, it's funny because today I actually. Uh, I asked somebody to take a look at the way I format my videos to just get some input on how my videos look. And I actually gave in the first of my Steins Gate series because I wanted to see what they thought about that, even though it's kind of old. So I watched the first few minutes of that video again. And to think of how far I've come and I, the, the journey I went on, not, I, I stepping into Steins Gate, I had no real clue what was, what was going to be involved. I knew I had something to do with sci-fi. Um, I knew that my brother, amongst other people, highly, highly recommended it. My brother, he knows my taste pretty well. He's like, you have to, you have to watch this anime. Never could, because Crunchyroll didn't have it until literally a few months after I started it, which I'm so happy for, because I don't know if I would have held back, because he'd been recommending it so much. And so I got to play it blind. I had no idea. I had no idea. And now, here I am. Best thing ever. If I ever had an opportunity to, I'd absolutely. I'd love to be able. To, this is one of those games, like I mentioned it before, but this is one of those games I wish I could write my memory of and experience it all over again because it just was so much fun. Such a mad, 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 mad world we lived in. And now we get to try and fill in the story for ourselves, but I love it. So yeah, uh, 10 out of 10, billion out of a billion, best game, probably currently, now that it's finished, one of the, like probably the best game I've ever played. We'll see if Muv Love will end up being able to beat it out in the end. So far Muv Love is a lot more traumatic. This was plenty traumatic. Muv Love is ridiculous by the end. But this is right up my alley, like science. And passion and geeky, like Chunobioness, like it's so me. I really wish I could beat the people who wrote this, the people who created this masterpiece. And like I said, I think I said it a few parts ago, sometimes I felt like the people who wrote this thought a lot like I do, because sometimes it just felt like they, they answered every question as I had it. And they, uh, 
they they made me laugh they made me cry they made me like want to do a dance i don't know it's wonderful i'm gonna take some time and configure my thoughts about this and like next week we should i should be able to do like an actual like review i don't know we'll see how it turns out last time i did reviews i did a few anime reviews way back when i started my channel they were not great uh, part of the problem is, like, I tried scripting myself, but I feel like that's not very good. That's why a podcast seems like a better approach for me. But as far as this review goes, I think I'll just outline some bullet points. It'll probably be freakishly long, because I never shut up, as you've learned. But, uh, I hope you enjoy it. So, yeah. Look forward to next week when I really get to this compile my thoughts and really get to smash it all out in front of you. But, you know, this has been amazing. And I feel bad, because I feel like... While this series brought so many of us together, I wonder if we'll ever be able to find anything that can top this. I like to believe this as a challenge. I'd like to extend the challenge to somebody make a video uh, begin now. Some of, someone watching us even possibly, watching this video. Perhaps you're gonna make the next Steins Gate. Maybe you're gonna make something just as good as these guys. And I'm really curious to see if they maintain their ability to tell good stories um, after so long. Cause like Steins Gate, came out, gosh, like, when did it come out exactly? I thought it might indicate, like, like 2011 or something? And then, like, Psycho Zero, like, came out this year, or, like, la or last year, I guess it came out probably last year. But, did they keep their ability to tell a good story? I'm very, I'm very curious to find out. But anyway, <laughs> thank you guys so much for being here today. Thank you so much for being free for the freaking series. We did it! It's over. It's over. I hate that it's over. But all good things must come to an end. And this is what we've been waiting for. I'm sure you guys are going to make the comments explode. Keep in mind, it'll take me a while to keep up with all of them. Because last time, every time I end a series, it's like, there's so many, so many comments I can't keep up with. But just know that I'm very, very happy I got to share this with you guys. <laughs> And it really did. It brought so many of you to my channel, and I'm so grateful for that. And I hope you feel like you can stick around. I hope you can continue to enjoy visual novels with me. Whether you buy them so you can experience them with me. Whether you just show your support despite the fact you don't want to watch the series. Whether you already played the game a million years ago and you're ready to talk about it with me. I hope every single one of you feels like you can stick around and still enjoy being a part of this group. Being a part of this community, this literature club. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I love it. So to the future, our future, because in our future, we live in Science Gate. We live in the future that's been undetermined. Maybe we'll face World War III, maybe we'll have a dystopian future in front of us, but perhaps we're the ones that have to build it, regardless of what the future ends up being. So let's build it together, and let's share inspirational stories like this to help us want to become better people, to help us want to tell good stories, that make us think about the world, our life, and the meaningful relationships we have in ways we never would have if we hadn't ever read The Steins Gate. So, let's begin that journey. Thank you for being a part of this series. Thank you for being a part of the channel. And I hope that I can continue to bring you back again and again, because I love having you here. You guys are what make this so great. And that even possible, and the possibilities we can face together are truly as unlimited as the as the Steins Gate can promise us. It's so cheesy. I'm so cheesy right now, but it's so true. Like I love how it ends almost exactly in a world like we live in right now. So let's remember that. And remember, the most important thing I think I picked up from this this game is an idea of being accountable to what you do and then most importantly to cherish the people around you because it's really them that make life worth living and make life work have meaning so cherish them and hold them tight for as long as you've got them because you never know what can happen so that's my biggest lesson and i'm sure i'll bring it up again next week but thank you guys and until the next video you watch with me or whatever you happen to see me in next. L. Sai Kongaroo.